What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy. We back. We back in action. I got a new computer, as you can see from the title and the intro to this video. So I'm going to show off. I plan on showing off Pro Tools, too, but I'm just showing off FL Studio right now. I just wanted to do FL Studio first because it's a lot easier to replicate. Um, so I decided to use a session that's um, that comes with FL Studio, no matter what version you have. It comes with it, everybody can open it up. Obviously, I'm gonna mute it uh, when I hit play, just because um, I don't wanna get copyrighted or whatever, so, and I want the video to be taken down. So I will mute it, but it doesn't really matter about the audio, it just, I just, you know, wanna show that what this is capable of doing so far, not being supported um, officially under the M1 chip. So, yeah, you know, I've been away for a minute. I was waiting on getting a new computer, to be honest. Yeah, it was time to retire my 2013 13-inch Mac with the Retina display. It only had 8 gigs of RAM, you know, uh, what is it, 256 gigs uh, storage, and the i5 processor. At the time, it was definitely super quick, uh, but now that programs have gotten a lot bigger and need a lot more cpu and memory and stuff uh, just couldn't keep up anymore especially with the video editing like you know that was another reason i haven't been doing that many videos because it was just so terrible to like edit videos and it was like just not inspiring at all you know but i did know that i was going to get a new mac this year so i was going to wait till then now to start doing videos again and you know the m1 came along i've been been keeping my eye on it uh, on YouTube and stuff and I got the 16 gig of RAM one terabyte hard drive I got it from the refurbished section on the Apple website so I got it like super cheap like I wasn't even planning on getting a terabyte hard drive to be honest uh, I was only looking to get the 512 I think when people think refurbished they think it's like been fucking dropped or something i think when it comes to apple their standards are a little bit different it seems like so like i said i opened it no scratches no scuffs no weird markings or anything like that so it's great it's basically like a brand new mac just a quick run through um fo studio installed fine um as you can see which i noticed today actually i didn't really notice this but this says rosetta in the main window of fo studio and on my intel now it says intel so yeah, FL Studio installed fine, Pro Tools installed fine. Like I said, I'll go similar video into Pro Tools like I'm doing with this one. Um, Universal Audio stuff installed fine. Everything's opening up fine. Um, the only virtual instrument that's third party that I've installed so far is just the Arturia stuff and the V collection. I haven't had a good experience with it because of my old Mac because like I couldn't use a lot of the presets because it's such a heavy virtual instrument. And now I'm able to like literally use any, like I can use anything. Like I was flipping through them like super flat, fast, like all the banks and stuff and everything loads up so quick. As far as FL Studio goes, it's been night and day, like way better. And like I said, I'm also just coming from a really low end pro, uh, you know, Mac, you know, so I would think about that too. If you're coming from something that's already spec'd out, I mean, I think you're going to get an, a performance boost as far as like the system goes, it seems like. But as far as like your DAWs and stuff, I don't know if I would see that much of a difference. What I have noticed though, for sure, is the bounce, like bouncing in FL Studio and Pro Tools. I don't know, whatever, two times, three times, like this one huge session in Pro Tools that I bounced, like got up to like eight times um, bounce, I think, or some shit. It was like some, I just never seen it go that high before. It usually hovers around like two or three or even less, to be honest. It's, yeah, it's just like terrible. So it's pretty nice. But anyways, I opened up the, yeah, the raw FL. I kind of flipped through like five of these and this seemed like the most CPU intensive one. Um, for comparison, like I said, I have the Intel 2013, eight gigs of RAM i5, processor like the first reissue or whatever of that mac line when it came with the uh retina display and my cpu when i hit play at the like let's say the heaviest parts of the song spiking at like 60 then back to 40 and as far as i know and i don't know this might change now that i'm screen recording but 
it was staying under 50, like 45 at the most, um, as far as like the CPU and I have it like on the fastest. So that was pretty cool. So that's what I mean by like performance. Like I think the M1 is going to be a lot more consistent and you're not going to get as many spikes when it comes to like rendering and stuff like that. I think it's definitely noticeably a lot faster. I've yet to like max this computer out, to be honest. I almost did with FL Studio. I didn't do it on purpose. Like I did it without realizing I was like, oh shit, like, you know, my CPUs in like the 70s or 80s but i was using so many uh instances of the arteria stuff and i was using like what i feel like is the heavy stuff like i really couldn't use a lot of their presets um so i was using presets that i couldn't use before you know it's just stuff like that that you notice if you're using flc you can use it. it's this raw fl whatever gimbal and sanan I hope I'm saying that right. And like I said, this is definitely going to change. Like the performance will most likely change and get better. This is still running through Rosetta. I'm also screen recording. Like I said, so I'm going to hit play, jump around, you know, just to show that it doesn't like kind of freeze up and stuff. Cause I couldn't even jump around in certain projects on the Intel version uh, with this specific one. Like it would just shit the bed. So let's hit play. So yeah, you know, forties, I don't know. Like I said, it could change, but it never really got past 50 on any of the sections which is great and like i said this is kind of like a dummy test like whatever there's so many videos on the m1 mac now on performance and what it compares to and stuff i'm not gonna do that shit so yeah like yeah yeah maybe i'll let it play stop skipping around but just showing that i can skip around and it's like fine like my intel would have been like glitching or something you know what i mean like i'll let it play this heavy. oh there you go it got to 50 right there but at most and my intel was spiking at 60 like consistently you know And like I said, this also may not even be the heaviest um, project, but like I said, this project was pretty heavy on my Intel um, Mac and also my settings just for comparison, like I'm running at 512. Um, obviously, if I did it to whatever this is, 4000 uh, samples, um, you know, I'm sure it would run even better. Not that it needs to, but it also is nice because on my Intel version, I would always have to be to be honest, producing at 4,000 or whatever it let me get to the most. And even at that, sometimes it would still, or it would definitely still not be uh, a good experience. So with this, it's like, I'm able to just produce at 512 and be totally fine, which is great. And you know, these are also just all stock sounds and plugins, it seems like. So, you know, this is repeatable. Anybody can open this project, um, you know, take these numbers, compare it. Like I said, I think it's definitely obviously going to get way better but as far as my experience goes and where i'm coming from yeah this is like heaven to me so like i said i'll do a pro tools one soon um and then show you what plugins i have installed and stuff so yeah that wasn't like you know perfect video or anything by any means no uh super hardcore experiment or anything um but basically i just want to show that it runs my comparisons to where i'm coming from personally and it seems like a lot of uh people have similar specs to what i have so what i recommend definitely yes if you're coming from where i'm coming from um for production what i recommend i would say if you're a mild user like obviously i am um i'm also just used to like printing down stuff anyways just because i like to like whatever manipulate the actual audio and not have to deal with um any midi or anything like that that's just my personal workflow so this computer is definitely more than enough for me as far as like mixing or anything like that goes, like I said, I'll go into another video on my Pro Tools uh, experience and stuff and how it's been. But yeah, I'm just not really that much of a heavy user. So, you know, maybe this video didn't help you at all. But for those who it did, I would definitely highly recommend getting some sort of M1. If you need the IO, definitely get the Mac Mini. If you need the portability, you know, obviously stick with the uh, laptop. Um, definitely get the 16 for sure. At least the 512, I would say 256. If you're come, if you're in the music world, definitely think about, you know, saving a few more dollars and getting at least a 512, uh, just because, you know, you know how it is like the DAWs itself already take up so much room on your system drive. And, you know, if your system drive gets too full, that's, uh, not good for the way your, uh, DAWs can perform and stuff. So Definitely keep that in mind. You know, just wanted to make this video real quick. Just going to hurry up and edit it. Probably upload it same day. So anyways, I'll be dropping a Pro Tools video. Let me know what you guys want to see. If there was anything in FLC, I didn't go over a lot. You know, it was kind of just super basic. Just let me know if there's anything specific. 
um, that you want to see or anything like that or any performance test I can do. Um, maybe I'll think about doing something specific uh, if it's if I feel like it's a good request or whatever. But anyways, I'm out. I'll see you guys, you know, on the next one. Peace.